My name is Kainton, the Tech Pro, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about MongoDB in a few minutes. Now, this is a GUI application to manage MongoDB. It's called MongoDB Compass. I'm going to show you how to set it up and use it. Now, this is another GUI application called Studio 3T, previously called Robo Mongo. I'm going to show you how to set it up and use it as well. So if you are joining me for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. I've made a step-by-step -step uh, step -step lesson here. So if you miss out something, find this link in the description box and simply follow along in it. So let's first download MongoDB and install. So the MongoDB community edition is free. So I'm going to simply download it from here by clicking on this download. After selecting my OS, which is Windows 64 bit, I'm going to just click on download. And I'm going to go down as well to the second one, which is uh, setting up Studio 3T. There is a download site. I'm going to also open the link and I'm going to click on uh, download as well. So I'm going to download for Windows. And finally, I'm, go I'm going down to Compass. You can see the link to download Compass. I'm going to click on it and also download Compass as well. Now I've actually downloaded all of this, so I'm simply going to stop all the downloads, but this is how you can download uh, this application. So let me just close up everything and let's simply go ahead to install and use them, all right? So now if I go to my downloads folder in my system, sorry, let me just stop this last one. Let me stop this last one, okay. So if I go to my download folder in my system, you can see that we have a number of things. So we have MongoDB Compass, we also have MongoDB, and then we have Studio 3T. So we have three items. To install MongoDB, simply click on the MSI installer. So click on it, and once it starts, you simply follow the instruction and set it up. But I have already installed it, so I'm not gonna repeat it. So if you install it, that is fine. And then um, go ahead to install MongoDB Compass. Sometimes it comes with the installation of MongoDB. So check when you are installing MongoDB. So this is MongoDB Compass. Also click on it and go nice, 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 and then install it. I already done that. So let me just um, stop. And in case of Studio 3T, it comes as a zip file on zip. If you unzip it, you have a folder like this. So simply also run it and get it installed in your system uh, it's also very easy to install as well i already done that as i've already done this so let me i'm not going to continue uh, with the installation all right so let's see so the next thing i'm going to do let me also stop this uh this download so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead to open mongodb uh server to open mongodb uh sorry so to open MongoDB server, simply go to command prompt. Let me just exit this. So open command prompt on your system. All right, so this is my command prompt and you actually go, going to find your MongoDB installation directory. So for me, I installed MongoDB in my drive C, program files, and we have uh, MongoDB should be down here. So open the bin directory. The step-by-step -step is in my website. So if you miss out something, or you just go to the my website. So copy the location of the directory for the bin directory and simply do a cd to the bin directory, cd, you just paste it here, and then go. And the next thing you want to do is you want to now run MongoDB server. So you are going to say um, mongo, mongod, dot, uh, mongodb parts. So let me just check because it's, maybe I missed out something. So let me just check. So the instruction says, um, sorry, let's go back. So we have mongod.exe, mongod.exe, dash dash db part equals. And then you also, you also paste the this time the data directory is what you need to specify in double quotes. 
So the data directory, you need to go back one step and you find the data directory here and I'm going to just copy it and paste right here in between the quotes and hit the enter key and at this point the server actually does not start because I need to do something so I'm, I'm going to my services for some reason this is what happens so go to services and just find mongodb and stop it so just click on stop click on stop that's what you should do so once you do this and you go back to run the command it's going to run and it's going to start up mongodb in uh as you can see listening on port 127.0.0.1 starting on port 27 uh 27 017. So the next thing you want to do, there is a MongoDB server. The next thing you want to do is to start the client. The client is here in the bin directory. Open the bin directory and just click mongod.exe and it starts up. Now this is a fun part. Let's now actually create databases and uh, and use databases. So to create a database in MongoDB, you simply say, meanwhile, you can see existing database by saying show DBS. So we have a number of databases existing in my server. So you can just create another one by saying use <coughs> tutorial db, tutorial db, okay. So we have a new database now called tutorial db. So if I say show dbs, you can see that we have, okay, for now tutorial db does not have any collection inside. So to, to put, to add a collection, you simply say, First, you execute use tutorial db. Okay, so you now execute execute the instruction. So you simply say db the student that insert. You specify a JSON formatted um, code to insert a collection. A collection is simply like table. So we are creating a table with with columns name, class, division, and subjects, right? So since it's an unstructured data, it doesn't have to conform to exactly uh, strict rows and columns regulation. I'm going to press enter, and I, at this point, if I say show DBS, you see that we have tutorial DB right here. And if I say show collections, meanwhile, show collection is simply like show tables, and you can see we have students uh, right there. So I recommend you try to maybe play around with this because we are not going to be doing this command line thing. We are going to actually uh, use the GUI. So, but this is how to use the command line, read up how to insert table, insert um, data, how to drop table, how to drop database and stuff like that. Mainly how to do all the crude, op crude operations. Let's now go to the fun part. Let's go to the GUI. So let's start with MongoDB Compass. I love MongoDB Compass because it's really very, very easy to use. Now, this database we created in the command prompt, we actually expect to see it right here. So while we are waiting for it to stack up, I'm going to also open Studio 3T. Studio 3T seems to start up faster than, than uh, MongoDB Compass. Meanwhile, we just have to wait a couple of seconds. Again, please, if you have any challenge, let me know in comment box below. Just leave a comment for me to let me know what challenges you have. And also, if you are joining for the first time, hit the subscribe button. There's a detailed lesson on MongoDB I've made. Also, check the description box below. You'll find the link to it. And also, there is the website, my website, bookmark it. Now, what opens here is Studio Treaty. The one that is trying to open for a long time is MongoDB Compass. So, okay. I think both of them just opened. So to use MongoDB Compass, let me just show you around how to create a database. What you are going to do is to click on New Connection. When you click on New Connection, it opens up this for you. Now, I don't like this connection string thing. So I'm simply going to say Fill Connection Fields manually. We have local host, we have da da da. Uh, more options, you replica name, not necessary. So you can just say connect. So it's going to connect to the existing instance of MongoDB that is already running. So you can see all the databases. So let me just show you how to create a new database. Let me create a new database and call it uh, MyDB. MyDB is the name of the database. And I'm going to create a collection inside, let's say states, a uh, list of states or something like that. So I'm going to create it. 
So we now have a database called MyDB. So if I open it, you can see states. States is like a table uh, in, in MyDB uh, uh, database. I can create another table. I call it countries. And I'm going to create it. As you can see, if I go to my uh, my DB, you have states and countries. So now, how how do you insert data? You simply insert data either by importing or you can add data uh, into it. So let me just see if I can do that right now. Now you can see that there is no rows and columns columns specific specification right here. So to add, let's say, a state with ID and name, so simply do a JSON data like this. Okay, so you simply say name and the name of the state, let's say um, Florida. And actually, I can also say ID first before name. ID of one. Okay, so we have I've been start I'm inserting it and we have it inserted. We have name and we have ID. You can also edit it right here if you want. You can add more so and update. Alright, so this is how to add data. You can also do the same thing with the other databases if you want. So I'm going to go back now to RoboMongo. So let me just kind of uh, go back to Let's refresh this and just go back here. Let's go back local. All right, so this is a dashboard. So in case, create a database, create a collection, insert a JSON document, that is great. Now, this is Studio 3T. It's also very easy to use. I don't really know which one is easier to use. I think uh, Compass tends to be easier to use. So to create a database, first you need to create a connection. Normally, that's what you should do. So you simply click on Connect. And now I have a connection I already created. But to create a new connection, simply create, click on Create New Connection right here and give the connection a name. Uh, let me just create a connection called Tutorial. Tutorial Connection. OK, so Tutorial Connection is fine. I'm going to just save it. So once I create it, uh, I saved. I'm going to just click on Connect. So basically, the tutorial connection is created, and you go to connect and simply uh, connect to tutorial connection, connect, and it shows you all the databases in the system. To create a new database, right click here and just say add database, and I'm going to call it my DB, uh, our DB, our DB. So that's how to create a database in um, Studio 3T. To create a collection, you can right click and simply say add collection. Collection is like a table. So here I'm going to right click and say add collection. And you give the co collection a name. Let me just say um, uh, fans. Okay, uh, persons. So persons, I'm going to just create. And we have persons have been created. And now you can just go here and simply insert a record. Uh, somewhere here you can have insert or add document. Document is like a record. I can say ID of one, name, Kinson, M, and department, computer science. All right, so I'm, I've created a new connect, a new uh, document. Document is like a record, right? Inserted. So I'm going to simply say validate and it's OK. And I'm going to say add and continue. So we have a record inserted right now. So you can insert as many records as you want. And the number of fields in a record, like number of columns in the record, is not fixed. And that is why it's called an unstructured data, uh, data storage. So play around with this. This is how to set up MongoDB, use it to create database and create collections, create documents. The next nice part, as I mentioned before, as you can see, we are trying to say uh, create an application in Spring Boot and use MongoDB to store our, store our data. So this is very important, and we are going to be doing it in the next part. If you are joining for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. If you miss out something, let me know. If you forget something, go to my website and then check and look it up, and you can see it's really very, very interesting. I remain kind on the tech group, and I'm always there for you.